Hey builders, what's up in case you're new here? I'm Omel, I'm a product builder. I'm building a SaaS app that I'm going to cheers for you. I'm going to deliver to a local business, a Pilates studio. I've talked about it on this whole deal making and how I got to work on this opportunity, which you can check in previous videos. And today I want us to talk about how you can learn to code in the most efficient way in 2025 as I see it. And without those specific uh, sort of hacks, I would not have taken this project. This is such a game changer and I wanna give you a hack on how to prompt uh, the cur cursor or whatever ID you're working with, whatever LLM you're using to do it more efficiently and in, in, a, in a quicker way. Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna take a very simple example, uh, like almost over simplistic so we can really understand how the sausage is being made or if you're vegan, than the soy sausage is being made. I'm using, uh, by the way, in case you wonder, I'm using a cursor to help me with debugging and generate code in a very fast and efficient way. Uh, and to navigate code, I'm using uh, NeoVim. Feel free to <laughs> share your thoughts in the comments. This is not the most useful way, but I think that um, just, I cannot give up uh, cursor at this point. Um, just NeoVim is, is, is faster, but I need cursor. I don't know if this is uh, helpful, useful to anyone, then if so, please do let me know in the comments and I'll make much more of these. Um, I'm gonna go, so I want to recreate this bug. Okay, there we are. Great. I was missing this, this word. And so if, I, if I'm saving it and I'm going back to this, right? So that's the, that's the app, we're getting this error. So what I'll do, I'll go to, I'll, I'll take a screenshot here, right? I'll read it, I'll try to understand it. I'll take a screenshot. So, like like so, with whatever you have, like clean shot in my case, whatever you wanna use to take a screenshot. I'll go to, to the composer, to cursor. I'll do this. I'll put the error. I'll, I'll paste the, the screenshot. So sometimes I'll just say, if this if this is obvious, I'll say, why am I getting this? And then I'll get this, this answer on what my, I might need to fix. I'll go through this. I'll understand exactly what the error was uh why it was there sometimes it will not solve the issue and then i'll just do like I'll, I'll keep chatting like like with a colleague now the interesting part right you get it solved that's all all good and fun you really you need to learn you need to learn what was wrong what you need to do next time to to be better i'll say something like let me make it bigger for you guys something like it worked before executing any code go over your suggestion and analyze possible outcome and how it may fit in the bigger picture of the task Explain to me like I'm a junior software developer. Now, I created uh, two sort of uh, hacks that are at the tip of my fingertips that um, are worth knowing. We back and so we have these uh, these hacks that are like keyboard shortcuts, but they're actually called tax replacements. Let me show you. You go on your Mac and you go to your tax replacements. I've got I've got these two, Eli five, Eli six. This is based on explaining to me like I'm five and then just six just makes sense as a follow up, right? Um, and so let's look at it. Let's look at how it works. When I'm when I'm solving a bug here, I'll go and I'll do, I'll do E, L, I. Now, depending on what I want to get out of it, let me show you them both, but E, L, I, five, right? And then you just space. Say before executing, let me show you. Before executing any code, go over your suggestion and analyze possible outcome and how it may fit in the bigger picture of the task explained to me like I'm a junior software developer. Now, this is not something you want to write every time. So you say, uh, you know, perhaps like whatever, I, I don't understand uh, why this is an async, right? And then you go ELI5, boom. Or um, what I like even more perhaps is the ELI6, right? Using an analogy and a simple example. So like for example here, if we go here and we say it worked, for executing the code, your suggestion, analyze possible outcomes. Well, this is this is my ELI five. So here's here's what the problem was, right? Regular function, async function. The problem, why it matters. So the component chain, right? The the instructor drop down. This is the one here. Expect the promise returning function, given it a regular function. So you can go through it, but this is basically this is like a ten x more useful than a tutorial. Uh, because this is actually, you're going to remember this and you're going to understand it because this is actually what you're building. So this, this is worth your time 
in my opinion, 10x, um, way, way more, way more. This is a good example, catch potential uh, issues before runtime. Would you like me to explain any part in more detail? Now, I take all of that. So for example, like this, right? I take all of that and I say something like, um, I created, basically, I, I created, let me show you, another repo, which is documentation for, for the project. So I have the project and I have the docs. And those docs, I'll put a link in the description, those docs can be found, um, I'll, I'll just put them in, a, in an open uh, uh, readme on, uh, on GitHub uh, in a public mode, so you can go check it out. And all of these are, you know, whenever I learn something, you know, for example, about like the architecture refactoring uh, that I've done that was massive or memoization, uh, whatever that might be, um, like how I implemented some features, like you can really learn through the hands-on experience here. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's not gated, you can just go there, it's public, right? So uh, the way I get it is that I do something like, after I, I got the style I wanted for it, let me show you, for example, here, I'll go here, I'll just do markdown preview, for example, right, uh, the refactoring I, I, I was doing the other day. So I, there was an opportunity to learn so much. Uh, so I wanted to, to, to capture this opportunity. Let me let me show you this way. I asked the composer to create this uh, tutorial and I asked it to use a basketball. I was just in the mood of, of the, like after I watched some NBA game, I, I asked it to create an analogy uh, that I would understand everything. Uh, like for example, how to use custom hooks, whatever that might be. Um, so the entire factoring here is explained with the charts that are also created um, by the composer. So I can understand exactly how it works in the app. Uh, and then it's gonna be easy, easy peasy when I'm building my next app. I also wanted it to have a UML so I can really understand, you know, how things are working. And when I need to debug something, uh, potentially in the future, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be way easier this way. So once I have the style that I, that I like for my docs, my documentation here, let's uh, add this learning about async functions and like you need this this is important i would say spell out what what, what you've learned at least do that right so the component chain right and, and component chain so i'll just do something like this like the other files i already have if you want if you like the style you can just you can just copy paste the style of, of what i just put here and then you don't need to to write it from scratch um and then once you just do something like that it would already know that I'm expecting some charts in there and that, you know, the style is going to be the same. So I'm creating this kind of notebook. I can show you, you know, I can show you another one. I'm creating this kind of notebook. So this is the refactoring. Like yesterday, I went over memorization, um, right? So I can do, like, for example, here, um, memorization patterns, training availability. This is that, that was an interesting one. And I learned the importance of memorization and how to do it. Really useful. I can go back to it. If you go back to it a couple of days later, like eventually, you'll just know, like everything you've learned building your MVP or your fully blown SaaS, you're gonna have captured in a document. So now um, it's done and we get this beautiful look right here. Uh, all of it was just created now and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, I'm, if, you, if, if you're done here, it's not good, it's no, it's no bueno. Um, you go here and you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna go here, you wanna look at the, at the markdown file and make sure you understand every line and then fix whatever needs uh, fixing. This is exactly what we looked at, right? So it's just visualized. What I also like is that it would put here the best practices, right? So how this relates to state management, component communication, 